Well, hello, una good evening, my family. Una good afternoon, una good day, and it's I will una day. Today we they come for can discuss one issue eh, very important for we country. Because over the years we don't see a lot of troubles in we governance system because we administrators them. Then they do certain things the way I think say we need for discuss and for make we begin understand. Because if we begin understand some of them things here, yeah, then we yourself as citizens and electorate, we go able for begin to try for caution we administrators them. We go talk to them, if now fumble them, we say bo, some of them tia law do them, some of them tia law not do them. Today, we they come for discuss one topic where I get one very young and intelligent lawyer where they can join we for this discussion. A name na Mr. Ibrahim Suri Kuruma. He's a young, very active, very intelligent man, and I believe say, a lot of people in Sierra Leone and the diaspora know Mr. Ibrahim Kuruma. Mr. Koma, you go tell the family the Adusa. Thank you, Mr. Jamboria. Thank you for having me. Um, I greet everybody, and I hope that we will get a very meaningful discussion today. And we we'll all go participate and make this grab. Thank you very much. Okay, thank you very much, sir. Before we go further, I just want to introduce the topic. And I want to we do this discussion in Creole so that a lot of people go understand we, what we mean and why we do all this discussion. I just want for caution say the intention of this discussion not to much of politics, but now more for educate with people them let them know why certain decisions are taken and how thin are the effect of them discussions, them decisions, I'm sorry, on we as a people. Today, we they can discuss what they then call administrative discretion. Then, we they look at how some of the public administrators, them, they use misuse and abuse what in they call administrative discretion discretion we also they look at how this they affect some of the decisions the way then they take and within day now the constitution of the country because most times we don't get cases them where the constitution they say one thing but we they see People them in public offices, especially in the executive arm, um, they take certain decisions where people then they argue, say, this is not upon the constitution. Mm -hmm. So before we they go further, I will ask we brother, Mr. I.S. Koma, for making come up with as a lawyer, what he understand by administrative disc discretion. Well, thank you. Thank you very much again, Mr. Jamboria. Um, Fambu for understand, say, in every system, whether in a political system, legal system, or management system, the people that they had or we get authority for executes the programs, policies, and principles of that particular setting, they then get certain powers where the functional authority give them. Now, the functional authority means say, that kind right we then will get as somebody we get power now, government, judiciary, office, or any side for do for exercise, in other words for exercise them power or right then they for make um then bring about within the sets this particular program for become 
So in other words, if for example, if you now um permanent secretary of a ministry, you get the the law with the govern the civil service, you get the law with the govern the principles them and guidelines them with the govern the ministry. And so within them programs then they you get certain powers. But then powers then they, you they exercise them within certain limits as well. So when I say you get the administrative discretion, now then the way and manner where they exercise the power what they give you, how you go able for bring about the effect of them power then they, now in with a man called discretion. Yeah. So, but you get for them within the bounds of all the policies that they were, were just mentioned. Okay, thank you very much, sir. You don't try for broke and don't for make with people to understand as a lawyer. And I believe, say, everybody, any office we did, whether na in the public service or in a run a company, then give office, say, okay, like, say, you know, the administrative manager of a company that apply to you. You get certain power for take certain decisions on behalf of the institution. But as you rightly say, when you they take them decisions here, you get for consider certain limits. That is, you they look say, if I do this, how we go affect the institution? If I not do this, I go affect the institution. Is that now that you they say? Yes, on, on a broad term, that that they say, but it also involve not to just the effects or impact we go get on the institution, but the effects and uh, impact we go get on people them who they mingle with the institution. So yes. in other words, if you are a public servant, yes, the discretionary power. It's not only limited to the protecting the image and the the um, the the the, up, the continuous um, growth the running of the, the where institution where you the where you head, but also how you they interact with members of the public where they seek for services of that particular institution. So, for example, you know. Uh, manager na uh, Salwako, the Sierra Leone Water Company, the, um, where they basically manage water distribution na free on the western area. So the power we the, the, the law will give right say una na una responsible for manage the water na free on. When we say you get power within that limit day for say okay because we not get sufficient water, we get for a portion the water. By region, say today in the west of Freetown, tomorrow in the east of Freetown, next tomorrow in the so 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 so. So when you get that power, day, because the law give power for distribute uh, unlimited, or uh, no limited resources to particular section as and when necessary, that power day also means uh, you for make sure say you distribute them to all the people. So so you know get the, for, so you know go say because you get power for distributor by region. You go say, I go give Eastern five ten for for week, but I they give Western two ten for week. So Down in other words, you they say, when you they use your discretion in any official capacity, you get for look at how you they do fair play and trust, absolutely, and build trust, absolutely, absolutely. So that means say. Whatever decision you they take, you get for gather consideration day. Yes. You know they just take decisions say because now Miss Sidona yeah, can do our yes. leg. Yeah. So, well, so the law will give you right for just say because the law say now you get the power for exercise that discretion, it not amount to saying you can do how you like. No, yes. that's what you, mean. Yes. you can do what in fear. So the institution uh, just for, for everybody. To so everybody with this arm. Yes. 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 So now let we come to the other side of this topic we we'll discussed today. 
the constitution. We all learn they talk about constitution, constitution, constitution. I want to you broke down to the people them where they listen to we today. What is the constitution of a country? Because the time we they go school, some of we will do what they call government. Then tell we say a country gets a constitution, and that you get two types of constitution. You get the written and unwritten constitution, and then tell we back say country like United Kingdom, they not get written constitution. But in Sierra Leone, since we have Sabi Salon, we don't always get a written constitution. But always with a gumbul power constitution. Before I go next to the next step about the, the structure and the form of the constitution, I want to let you tell people them as a lawyer, within a constitution. Well, thank you again. I, I think I, I like the fact that you you bring the example of the United Kingdom and why sometimes the political scientists and other people are really into politics or the academia, they can always categorize constitution there differently. They can say some country gets a written constitution. Women say, when I own constitution, the right and wrong, you get for people make reference to them based on that. Some country then they then get unwritten constitution. You no, know, we mean say you know able for see inside one document say that so that so like the United Kingdom or the US, and then thing and they uh, it means say then your constitution or the that one single paper. You know they, they say section so section so section so not so it be they own it, it based on specific um, landmark. Decisions or 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 thing the way they accept say um, then go be bound by. So for example, uh, then go be bound by say the supremacy uh, for take political or legal decisions in the country. Um, supremacy go be with the parliament, for example, in the United Kingdom. Now they get sovereignty. So what they agree on now and they, so then they go become part of the binding rule. So what basically a constitution mean? Now then, regulation, the rules, the way a country agrees, say, will be bound by these rules. You know, that's so uh, like the, the scripture of the country, if we can put them in that broad context. You go call and say that either the Quran or the Bible of the country. Not so? Uh, it amounts to that one. It, it basically amounts to, to that one exactly. Like, say, wait and say, a whole country, we agree, say, we own country. Then general a broad provisions there are so now you will be bound by. So for example, when Muslim they say then the what thing that the Quran as a Muslim naive for obey, naive for go by. Now the same thing it means for all country say this constitution now for obey, now for go by, now the strongest. So in other words, it become the strongest law that the whole country. No other law, no the way strong person. So in we own context as a country in Sierra Leone, we own constitution, a written constitution. So we get reference, and we can always make sure we can make make uh, a reference to the 1991 constitution, we're not the latest one. We don't get series of constitutions before, but the 1991 constitution means say all the previous constitution they they not exist anymore. So the 1991 constitution and not the existing law, and not the supreme law of the saloon, and that constitution it, it make provision for several things them I divide the government into three na I tell all the arms of government what they them for do na I make provision for anti-corruption uh, for for um uh judiciary how the function how parliament for function how the president and minister they for function what are the qualification and how we forget elections order for head election commission how we forget on board man, so that the constitution I make all that provision day. So that only make that only set out how government they function basically in our country. Okay, thank you very much, sir. But um I get one critical question I want to ask you as a lawyer. Because 
Mais donc, il y a eu beaucoup, beaucoup, beaucoup de complaints, people, and they grumble, say, the reason we make most of the problems, they're not so alone as it is so now, now we constitution faulty. Well, of course, me when they talk so, at some point in time, I've been fortunate for participate. They tell me Dr. Peter Lorenzo Tucker been the write this 1991 constitution. Not to me being they represent the teachers union or the labor congress at that time. But at that time, because me have been vice president of the teachers union, the person where been they represent the labor movement now be woman. So on ten day way not be able to go this uh, sittings, he can tell me say Bodia tomorrow or so so they are not able to go. You will go sitting for me. So virtually I've been sitting several times, and all the time we've been uh, do this constitutional review. We've been get a program where would they go now United States Embassy UCS. Who side them we get a library in our Walpole Street? Where they call people them, we call teachers and other members of the public. We go discuss because we all roll at that time. Now before sense the public opinion, we go we contribute public opinion. Then the lawyer them and the other people they all been there at the commission at their own duty for write them. And as far as I know, the constitution will be draft. It will make certain provisions will not deep on this constitution. But not to all that's not the issue. What I want to ask is, as a lawyer, we ever don't get a perfect constitution? That is very important. Um... I don't think so any country they where they both say the constitution perfect. I don't think so. So what in they happen normally in that? Yes, sir. Because the world they develop the change and based on certain things the way the people that have been draft the constitution, they're not being envisaged say that it go happen. And the world so fast, the change, technology don't come, a lot of things don't come. So if I now say different countries, they always get different challenges yes. based on the requirements of their own situation, yes. how for apply their own constitution. So okay. then the constitution don't keep for 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 be amended, changed, you know, and other people in the challenge the provisions of the constitution based on what thing they happen and then thing they did. So I, I will say humbly that there is no perfect constitution that that make the constitution itself or every constitution they make provision for amendment, how for amend them, how for update them, you know, for making meet uh, modern um, challenges or requirements or needs as the case may be. Okay. So for answer that question, then that again we will see. But okay, the other thank thing you, thank you very in much. Addition, in addition to that, Andy, now that you know, when it comes to issues of constitution, people always sabi constitution, they always they fail for talk about her. <laughs> and the reason, the reason is because uh, a very technical area uh, where it, it really requires in depth knowledge. But the problem we get as a country. Now that a lot of people they always feel say because now black and white the constitution day and you're able for read English, so therefore you can interpret the constitution. That are the gravest mistake where a lot of people now in country don't always they make. And so me go see, even as lawyers, a lot of lawyers, including me, have always very careful for say this constitution, you know, now this he provide for now this he meet that particular. That particular provision. So, what in the constitution is a provide that, that the people that will get the authority for interpreting properly, you know, now the Supreme Court, when are the highest courts of the land, and okay. every other country, 
every other country that the same provision they get. Say, okay. oh, I get doubts and disagreements on waiting a particular provision. Even the word in a constitution means when I forgot the highest courts of the land for making interpret and formula. So if you see the constitution in self self give that power to the highest courts of the land, it means say a very careful, the people that will draft them very careful as to which interpretation people then go give them, you know, for for meet particular situations. So okay. thank you, yeah, thank you, yeah. thank you very much, sir. You don't you don't sort of go ahead. Because I want to bring a connection now between the use of administrative discretion and the provisions of the Constitution. Because I believe, say, we don't get them problems here several times in Sierra Leone. Not to just now begin. But it seems like it, they get worse as time they go on. Now, my question is, you don't talk about the Supreme Court being the highest authority for interpreting the Constitution. And let me look at the provisions where the Constitution make for people in some high offices for use discretion. And when they talk about discretion, Sometimes can they, the constitution itself, they provide them, say, you get a prerogative. Because what you call prerogative, now the power will then give you for use a discretion. If we can broke them into simple creo. The power away a the constitution give, let we say the office of the president, for use in discretion for take certain policies take certain decisions where in no need for consult with parliament. Nine are the prerogative. Am I correct, sir? Yes, you're right. So if we look at the other side, we say the interpretation given to the constitution is always with the Supreme Court. Let me assume, say, a decision has been taken by the executive arm or some senior official, let us say like a permanent secretary or somebody where they head a public corporation, like one of their authorities. But people then they will not agree with this uh, decision. Then question them in public opinion other people them we get certain technical or legal background question them. Do you think this can warrant for MEC then solicit help from the Supreme Court for gear and interpretation? I think so you ask a lot of questions inside that one question. I will try for for dissector in the way I understand them. First of all, the constitution give each of the arms of government then judiciary, the executive, legislature, separate responsibilities for around the country. Okay. But the same constitution, it provide, it make provision for make sure say each of them three arms they are so not go get too much power for override the other one. In other words, okay. one of these, if the executive, for example, the president take a decision. The constitution make provision such that parliament go for check that kind of decision. Even in the case of a presidential prerogative? Even in the case of a presidential prerogative. For example, the president get the prerogative for appoint for, for appoint and fire ministers. Like we can say, he get the right for hire and fire. Okay. All right? Now the <laughs> constitution ain't get that power. Dude. Yes. But for make that person they get the the right for act in that particular office substantively. Say for example, for make he act as minister of finance. Now example, president then get the right absolutely for appoint who that appoint. He can appoint anybody. But for make that person they serve in that cap capacity substantively, 
the constitution, same constitution I think parliament for approval. Okay. So that is the check where president gets in the exercise of your power for appoint members of cabinet. Okay. Or now, now you know you don't answer one part. Let we assume, say, parliament approves somebody where the president appoint. Then this person go into office and go do something we not right now the office. But the president not they listen when and they say this person they do this thing and not try for terminating service. Can parliament come back to use any power to get that person terminated or is it up to maybe say members of parliament or members of the public for say all right let we go take this issue now supreme court let the supreme court come in because the supreme court now the highest authority for interpreting constitution again you don't bring down two issues then yes <laughs> are they come with them now <laughs> when president appoints somebody mm. Now, in get the power also for dismissal. Some people, yeah. some people, in the, absolutely. So, for example, in the case of a minister, if the minister they misbehave, the minister of finance, for example, mm -hmm. if they take public money, because you know, you're not a minister of finance, you know, you're not a minister of finance, that you get the right for control how government they spend money. Yeah. But, even in that control day, parliament gets oversight. Okay. So the parliament, the, now in the give rights for spend the money where you they spend on behalf of government for the people. But what if the minister, they refuse for listening to parliament? Then now parliament the asks, well, there they come. Okay. I, have to, I have to explain that. Okay. So first of all, the minister get for understand, see, this appointment work get, is subject to parliamentary approval. But it is not just parliamentary approval. It also subject to control of parliament. So parliament, for example, can call them in, can summon them, or can explain how it is spent the public money and how it take one one amount of money, it put on social side where parliament not approve or parliament not get under authority. So now parliament they get authority for spending money. So then get right for column and parliament can also make recommendation you know both to the anti-corruption commission and to the president for investigate this particular person or for say this person even though without approval he unfit for continue for serve in this particular okay. position okay so then get all the authority they need so to the last question if parliament call them in or they make recommendations, say XYZ way they do it all right to get for correct time and not do them, they can take them to approach the what I just talked so. They can either advise and recommend to the anti corruption commission for investigate this particular person, or they can make recommendations to the president for make is submit this person to anti corruption commission for investigation of or in addition the president Saka. Well, what if all what you don't say so? Parliament take them steps then they, but we not see a co a correction of the situation. The same person continuing at the office, then the same thing they repeat himself. What in are the last result? Well, you see, in 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 the system of government we get, the president, if he appoints somebody and that person they misconduct himself, he do something. And an institution like parliament recommends it for pull up or, or make the investigator in the example what don't give in not do am. we can normally say the box stops with the president so in other words you can say that the president is the act for and since now the president they act for and the president they take action for discipline for removal or for get an investigator then you they transfer that particular responsibility or liability to the president directly because the box stops with the president in all of what the appointees that they do. Parliament can take and further against the president himself. And also, the parliament, same parliament, <coughs> get power for even remove the president from office. 
then you exercise that power. Then. Is it easy in Sierra Leone? No, it is not easy in Sierra Leone because first of all, it never happened. But I mean, because if they talk about constitutional law, we just yeah. discuss all what the law provides for. Yes, and that is yes, one yes. of the be as realistic as possible without economic and political. Because the issue they discuss now today, we don't see them don't happen several times now we country. As a matter of fact, as far as I know, since Sierra Leone had been independent, we don't see several cases of abuse of administrative discretion. We don't see several cases of abuse of the constitution. People, they don't talk, they don't do everything, but little can come out, out of that. And so much so now, it don't they sort of become a kind of tradition where a impact on the country is very negative because one of the things where they slow down with development, one of the things where they slow down with unity as a people is that most times when governments come into power, then tend for concentrate power to themselves and their party members. And in the process, then they do a lot of things where they lead to abuse of discretion. And at the same time, they will go against certain parts of the constitution. Of course, of late, we don't see plenty of that. And uh, one of the reasons we make with the discuss then topics here. Now, for make people aware, so that by knowing that this is not right, because some even in the in the power power core itself, some people up yonder, I believe say they don't understand some of them here. So that's why they do it wrong at times. But I believe say for they discuss their issues here, then they begin to say, oh, this thing will have been they think of this way. Maybe. Not to so for Duam, not so for Duam. I think say that go enhance peace, unity, and progress in our country. Now, I want to go to another side. Where are the see from my own opinion? I may be wrong. Are the see Sierra Leone as a state where they struggle between traditional or cultural systems and the modern Westminster or American presidential systems where we say now for use for govern yourself. As a result, we see overlaps and use and abuse of discretion that take place all the time. The next thing I want to go into is as a lawyer, Normally, when una they make laws, una they get in mind, say, we they make this for everybody, let there be fair play. Anybody we go against, there are consequences we get for suffer. But do you, in most cases, take, take consideration of the culture and the sociology of the people? Thank you. This is a very, very important question you ask. All constitutions, including the constitution of Sierra Leone, within the draft title, watch the preamble of the constitution. They address all the things they, 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 they take, talk about. Then they take into consideration the, the differences amongst the people and where they did. The culture, traditions, other practices, religion, and all of them things they need before they draft the constitution. And even when they draft them, then they put and say, now in consideration of all of those things they need, now in them put together for make sure, see, the constitution itself, not to a document where go bring hardship to the people. In other words, you're not going to draw regulations for govern people. We're going to make the label for breed self. It took their life. Okay. So now something where 
they don't see, they don't feel, they don't take into consideration the fact that they get different customs them. But when they don't take all of that in totality together, then draw a midway point where go able for make everybody in the society reasonably able for comply or within or live within that, that same regulation they did. Where you don't go feel too much hardship, but also you don't get the flexibility for do anything we want for them. Yeah. And then they cut across. Now, the only person inside Salon where the constitution give what he may call rights where they above other Sierra Leoneans than the president of Salon. And me also think say, that now would be the biggest mistake inside, inside the 1991 constitution. Because 1991 constitution, it puts the president above all citizens. Would have been serious, serious mistake. And well, because of I'm not going to go into that because the draft from me know <laughs> the powers were there, but not as much as they came out from parliament. But not so that we can discuss today. <laughs> the draft yeah, well know we had provisions for two chambers. Some of the powers we deal with the president today, some of those powers we are given to the upper chamber. Because it was like what in Ghana gets now where they say Council of Elders. Okay? There were certain provisions made for appointments, etc., cetera, etc., cetera, we've been there with the upper chamber. And there were provisions for this chamber to even check some of the powers of the president. But when the draft went to parliament and came out, it became a modified document. I'm not going to say different, but it was modified. But not so that's not the issue they discuss here today. Maybe we'll go find some other time for discuss that. The issue I want to ask now, you don't come to a leading point. Let us assume, okay, the president has been given all that power. But as head or chief administrator of the Republic of Sierra Leone, why is it they use them powers then they? Is he not bound to take decisions based on certain norms and values and standards? Is he not bound by ethics? Is he not bound by consideration of the peace and security of the nation <coughs> when he's taking those decisions using the powers vested in him? I start just now for say all three the arms of government, the presidency, the judiciary, and the executive get separate responsibilities. But also what each one of those then they check the other. Okay. They call and checks and balances. That's what the constitution make so that no one will become powerful. So for example. If parliament thinks say the president they do certain thing them, they can able impeach him. Okay, which is not so, possible easily. <laughs> so the second thing is if the judiciary somebody bring an action say the president they exercise powers beyond what in the constitution give him, he can challenge him go to court. Say they violate human rights, for example. The judiciary, they pass judgment say the president not get that power for violate citizens and human rights. Similarly, the president now he no more get power for an appoint judges, the chief justice and the judges they will they did and parliament that they get power for approve them people they did. So you get these checks and balances because of that they it make the relationship smooth for all. So all man they watching company, make sure say you not cross the line. And I saw the constitution make them so that you go look fine, fine. Nobody no go think say too powerful past the other. But what did not happen? What did not happen over the years now like that we presidency get this cavalier spirits and we politicians they're very, very smart. 
salon politician and very very smart Be they capitalize on the weaknesses of the constitution and make sure say where a certain political party they in government then they then they blow up that balloon inside the president can sit down. Then they blow them up so it becomes extra large. Yeah. And once it's extra large, one man sit down there, the balloon they up. Every other person in the country, he hide the focus on that balloon. He want money, now that balloon they come out. You want power, now that balloon they come out. You want contract, now that balloon they come out. So then we, we don't make the, the presidency don't so look so important that the most important thing so much that we don't also give us the power we transfer some of the power that parliament to run. We transfer the power that the judiciary to run. So no, now it looks like I say that check and balance what they talk about, it no longer exists because parliament and they look forward to the president. The judiciary and they look up to the president. Now this is not the biggest disadvantage. What don't happen in our country, and also meeting say with politicians and shrewdness, they're very smart, and they don't create this niche for themselves so much that until we get a new system where they break that particular balloon day, they put the balloon down so that we all go live na the na the plain earth rather than getting one person up. Salon, that country, the salon will always remain like that. So that that one person, now they dictate every, everything that happen in the country. And that did not happen. So even when the, the same man, when they up that balloon, oh, all they look to, they, they misbehave, where they cause problem. Everybody where they don't, they're afraid for even talk and say. For even well, take action for discipline now. Well, like, you don't okay, come, you don't come. Okay, finish. Finish. Let me finish this part. Finish. Like, for example, the one gives you know, about the judiciary saying that the government, the presidents, they misbehave. Or it violates people their rights. Or, for example, parliament, someone, members of cabinet, and say that they misbehave. And so if they refuse, they transfer that, that responsibility to president and even exercise power for impeachment. We don't see now in a different other country then. It don't happen. Yeah. yeah. You know, not to yeah. just the West, even in Africa, where then they challenge the president, he actually say, your constitutional. Press, judiciary declare actions of the executive as unconstitutional. Yeah. Several I've times. Seen it in Kenya. So all of the examples that now, now say the society don't stand up. Say that balloon, oh, all they look towards, we go for boss and lay candle. So that person where they lay candle, oh, all to map now, all they see with their coro coro. Instead of going able to feel the way they feel. But once we don't lift her up, it go happen like say, in the feel, what you they feel? Because in the up, it the inside cozy, that conditioning balloon, where in just the call number say, that's what I want to happen. It happen. And that system of government, then they, then they happen under a democracy. Now, under autocracy, that they happen. Yeah. Well, one yeah. man they do up yeah. all the rest on a phobe. You know, now that system they may be they force them. Where they get kings and queens and princes or prince, where then they sit down, then they're above the law, then they're above the constitution. In fact, constitution not the now what they talk, then they happen. So if we find out what they happen, that's a lot today. The presidency don't become an office where they above the constitution because parliamentary and then now what well, even whatever they money they never go big president force <laughs> even though now they get the power of the force <laughs> unfortunately they don't even know that one they say that they get power for the time he has a lot money in this panel but then they go big president force <laughs> you know so it is the same thing for the judiciary then they, they then they grumble grumble say they don't get money for pen for run the, the, the judiciary but then they go lobby, lobby, go back to president to make president increase their budget. It, it's that, that's the, the dilemma of the country day. Well, but well, well, that's the way well. I say just now. See, <laughs> we politicians are yes. very shrewd because they're there, they go run, run for campaign. You know, eventually, if they win the presidency, they're facing that they get the power 
for determine every other person in life. And the constitution also so, 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 say it gave everybody role. It yeah. yeah. gave everybody so, so, so. role. It gave everybody responsibility. But exactly. now, one office don't turn like I say that in the run everything. And even parliamentarian they, they talk I'm say that the executive that in the run parliament. Now within the executive one that in the run parliament. That was not the intent of the drafters of the constitution. No, no. People then they say the judiciary now, now government they determine. Now the president they determine what the judiciary they do. So the judiciary itself don't become yes man and yes woman. Pre judiciary is a rule against government interest group, Gro government interest case. They a rule against them. So that is the dilemma that the country is in. So until we get a system where basically they defend the present system and get a new system. And what did they create that day? Now a new constitution. As we talk, there is a draft constitution where nobody really talk about. Yes, yes. And then that's uh, just, just this because constitution. the people were for talk about the constitution, they are all now. Then they look at that same balloon go up. If you talk this law, President is saying they give me appointment. President is saying they give me contract. President is saying they give me consultancy. So I'm going to talk because president is not interested in any constitution. This is the problem. Now you don't come to a key issue where I've been one for lead with or before. Because when you talk about use of discretion, normally what in the standout now the ethical values where the person where they use the discretion they put into in decision making and in some countries like the country where they then get what they call ethical guidelines for public servants the opening statement of that document say trust in the governance system. Now, one of the highest things them with every public servant for take into consideration. And therefore, whatever decision you take as a public servant, irrespective of your office, you therefore take an ethical decision where they help for maintain trust in the governance system. Of course, for people in political science, they will tell you the gold of Scandinavia. Oh, now can see them, they make the human rights index and then in the day. Now the trust what the politicians and they put into their decision making. The trust where public servants they put in their daily decision making in offices. Now, in Sierra Leone, we they see a lot of decisions they take where plenty of people know they agree with. And of course, as you rightly put them, we constitution and other laws them, where for guide with public servants, it's like they are not functioning because people them don't blow the balloon too much. All man, they look to one person. All man, they look to one office. Now, that's not the reason we make this now. I've been asked, say, or been make a comment, say, it seems like we get problem with traditional governance system and the Westminster system. We don't do everything possible for put checks in place. We don't get anti-corruption commission. We don't get all kind commission. Now, what do you think is the way forward for Sierra Leone? Is it the constitution that we get for change? Or now we the people them get for take a decision as to how we the elect we, we government them? What I mean is, let us assume, say, you get a system wherein you get one political party they control parliament, you get another one, they control the executive. Do you think that can solve the problem? In the light of what we see recently, 
after the last elections, what happened at the wells of parliament. Do you think that is possible? If not, what is the way forward for me to get a balance in we governance? We go sort of control this balloon where they blow too big. Thank you. This is a very important issue. Um, I believe, say, the, the question border around two things. What do you think and what do they happen now? Yeah. Now, at the start with what do they happen now? What do they happen now now that we get a constitution, we set out our government for the high for function. And we have to deal with that situation. How do we deal with the situation? As Sierra Leone, as people, as citizens, we get to ask ourselves a question whether the present system, they work well for the country. Yeah. It, whether it enhance lives, whether it, 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 it supports the ideals of the constitution itself, and whether it make people their life and the country better. If the question is yes, then let's continue with it. If the question is no, then we'll get to find a solution. What's not the solution? We have to change the constitution. Okay. And and I think says Bakusi Aluna is them. Get the the fan believe say the constitution needed to be changed. Now that make in the last administration, there was a lot of pressure, both from within the government then and from the citizens, say they needed a new constitution. Unfortunately, that process did not be concluded. Because yeah. even though a committee was set up, consultations were made, and a draft was produced. We will not be able to reach that, that point where we will be able to transition to a new constitution. So that draft still remains a draft. Well, so, as you, as you so say, you know, part, politicians are smart. <laughs> so, so, so the second part of the question is, uh, what do you think? Now, what do you think now this one? One, me not believe, say, even though we're there under a democracy, the way the democracy they run the country, me not believe, say, that the right way for all. What do you mean by that? I believe, say, the country for be run according to the provisions of the law. Yeah. But is the country being run according to the provisions of law? No, sir. The problem when we get now that a lot of people in the exercise authority we do not get under the law. Exactly. And because of that, they don't make the law look like I say not a law at all. And make people, men, where they exercise certain powers and discretions, as you say, look like say they are the law above the law itself. Exactly. So we have to look for a solution. What is the solution? We we'll get new systems under a new democracy, a new political system. Not to say, I mean, say, we we'll not forget democracy. We need a democracy. A democracy really respects rules and regulations. This particular democracy we'll get it really respects rules and regulations. Well, no. um, we don't hear a lot of people. I know. I know honestly see the body document of the draft constitution where Justice Cowan be make. But I believe, see, part of it when they try for emphasize on building up decentralization. And we don't hear a lot of people they talk, say, if we go down the lane of decentralization, it go help we. Do you think decentralization is the solution to our problems? Now, because of my training, the way modern democracy and administrative setup, they don't they thrive in different countries. You go out for belief, say, and using those examples, you know, both from within the continent and outside. The way people they appreciate leadership, authority, and service delivery. Now, where you get people that are actually involved in both the decisions and the service itself. 
Yeah. So in other words, so which means with, you they say when you decentralize power, you they bring more people to participate. People they they appreciate where one person they inside Balu, it take decision <laughs> for the rest of mankind. People don't that's, appreciate that at all. That's true. <laughs> people they appreciate where they go bring calm, um foreigner, you can't put and say this person na e na e na the administrator, na e na the head, na ya anything we talk, na e for B. People no longer appreciate that. Yeah. People know they appreciate the fact that you go draft a law, you bring and can say this law, a decree, a, a law say this law, na e for B the law from today. They don't appreciate that. And I get several examples. One, the examples of kinships, rulers, and then the day. People don't appreciate that anymore. No. Examples no. of colonialism, when they bring foreign, I can't put I say I want you talk now. Anyway. People don't appreciate that anymore. No. No. Examples of autocracy, military rule, when somebody they come, you use gun power and then the day. They don't appreciate that. So the system don't they move. Into what what man call integration. Yeah. So even when they make law for people now, they get them involved. So then they appreciate the seriousness of this law, and they, then they understand them as the law they develop. Okay. When they get themselves involved in the process of leadership, governance, and the provision of services. So, for example, now where. You they try for say you want provide water well. We may not think say no country in the world, not for even talk about water well in 2021. But well, let's well, wait, 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 Mr. Ayers. Wait. Don't use water well as an example. <laughs> wait me, wait me. We, me when they talk to you, so now water well are they use? But me are very safe. <laughs> are they off? I don't really want to talk so. But so only safe. Water, what you, I mean, immune safe because I get for go by certain prescriptions. I know they just dig water well or what, you, but it's a safe well sealed. Then they get a pumping system. Okay. So let me use water well as an example. Yes. If you provide water well for a particular community, right? Yes. You know, go count no more. You say, Hey, I get money or they can't provide water well for now. This land here. Maybe not this, any people learn it. This particular location, and I already can't dig because that's so at the center. Or yeah, so the, the, the place fine. And they can't dig here. People will not appreciate it. No, no. You go for go sit down with them, discuss with them, ask them what they need, who said they need the water well, even if the water well they need, yeah. then provide the land for you, then participate in the clearing of the land. Yeah. They, they dig when they dig and participate and participate and how you develop them. That is what they appreciate. Yeah. So all of this, me believe say that kinship system of we own the system of democracy, and then they work. And we not think the right thing for them. We need to integrate work. people. Work. We need for integrate people them. And we also need forget people them where they exercise certain powers for respect to the other people them as well. Because by, by virtue of own constitution, the constitution, and I don't think say people that also know this, the constitution must say that the leader then get power that will continue. No, the constitution yeah, says yeah, that's the decision making power, but not the people, get the power. Now the people, now the get people the power. that then get the power that will continue. Yes. Yes. But with politicians, they, they, they refuse so many people to understand this language. Thank you, sir. They don't want people to know that. Not to the parliament supreme, not to the judiciary supreme, not to the president supreme, not the people. Not the people, because not they, they are the ones who the they represent. That's it. So not once the you people, are then they represent now their offices. Then so for answer your question, once the people them understand, say, the bullets, the magic bullets, the magic power belong to them. The moment they appreciate nowadays, Say then then get the power for remove a president, then get the power for remove a member of parliament or any councillor or mayor. Then the power they come back to the people. Then those people that they elect president or member of parliament or mayor or councillor, then they begin now for respect the people. 
and then they begin for do what the people they want. But until we get there, the country get for remain like it is. And me, my opinion, if we're able for reverse, if we're able for reach that side of it, they get worse. And then they go be really, really, really bad and devastating. Well, 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 Usa would all reach so now. I think so would all reach for worse. Honestly, Usa would all reach this culture we don't build up from 1961. It don't reach for worse because now we they see a lot of things they go wrong. But coming back to the topic we they discuss. You don't justify the need for make we decentralize and be inclusive in governance. Let the people them feel say I belong. I am part of this. Da like we person say you get business. The one they when I shareholders in the business, then get all the the will and the wish for see the business continue. As a matter of fact, this is why in Japan, most companies then they make sure say the workers then be shareholders. Now, in the same way, the government of a country, the people of the country for be shareholders in the government governance. Otherwise, if not just a few people get this power, if not just one person they exercise power. The other people then will say, well, what you will be, what you get for the law you don't. Law you don't look. So, going back to what you would discuss, let me assume, say, we get a constitution where they allow it for decentralize. That may be just one part of the solution. Another thing I want to ask is, I'm not quite sure of how many political parties we get in a salon, but I'm sure we have over 15 registered political parties. And I am also sure that because we don't sign certain international legal instruments like ECOWAS, African Union, any political party where they don't register, if we get the assurance of continuity because then documents and they make provisions say the state for provide them with certain support for build up their capacity that of course they happen all over the world even here where they the government they provide support for all the we sell gameboku political parties then they provide support for the political parties for make them function then Members they pay annual membership fee, and because this they happen in this part of the world, then they sort of ask the political parties every year for present statements, audited statements, etc. etc. But not to that, not the issue. What I want to come with is with all them political parties, you will get each one getting on purpose, if not an ideology, then get them purpose with them form. Then get what in them believe, say them capable for do, now I make them form that party day. What if we look at a system where to make sure, say, not to one single political party they get power, but you forget one, two, three parties coming together before ever government can form. We don't see that in Israel. We see that in Germany. Of course, that is what is common in Scandinavia. Sweden, Norway, Denmark, Finland. One single party, not a form government. When I forget what they call a coalition. Do you think that's another way to take Sierra Leone forward? Do you think that can help us to go across or over this one big balloon issue oh, they talk about. Thank you very much. I think say that is also a very, very important question for, for discussion. Now, over the last hundred years or so, I think say we don't the country don't try different models of government. We don't the country don't they under colonial rule. 
Yeah. All right? Yeah. Uh, be, prior to colonial rule, the country done there where there was no central administration. We get traditional chiefs, we get all the exercise authority in different, different parts of the country. For example, uh, what do we call Freetown now? It be done under the Koya chiefdom, where the, the chief or the king at the time be exercise power and control separate from the king or the chief we've been there now um corner for example siwa fair chiefdom or the king or queen we've been there now pujong so that system there it been allowed people to move from place to place but you are not bound by any single regulation, what you call now a constitution. Okay. They, but they may get treaties then, they may get agreements amongst themselves. They just get agreements amongst themselves, put people and they move from place to place. And would I get power for try people that will commit offense? If you young people that will commit offense and that, and then thing and You know, we get no central administration. Yeah. Say with man and come. In 1808, then take over part of Koya chiefdom. We now today we call it Freetown. Then call on that in a colony. Then colonize them. Then call on colony. So they begin run them as a British colony. Then they put on the They begin take the other parts of the country now away from Sierra Leone. They begin take. They begin say now that they provide protection. Yeah. Protection for that other part today because then today the with man and now don't begin come and scatter scatter Africa. You know, then they shape shape to themselves. This they come use to German them, capture, capture, say on my own side is. So the British then today they say, okay, this today now the this sire Koya chiefdom will they take over and begin provide protection for their other part there now. So they call it protectorate. Yeah. So they banana the commodity the then the protectorate now and the and the southern colony become one. Who come on the, then they still have a colonial rule. Who come on the now say 1960? Who begins to begin get serious Sierra Leone and then now we don't begin grow up. We don't begin think say no, but this already happened. You know, enough for happen. You know for continue. You do so now. Long self come. 1960 then begin discuss this thing. 5960 then begin discuss the whole self one being. A, a state on your own. We don't have it when they forget to do it. They fly going back and back and forth. 1961, the Englishman is say, okay, well, we don't have a country. <laughs> but we will still remain as, I mean, somebody where they superintend. Where they control? What do you want to do? Where they superintend? We don't have a country. We begin get election on your own. Yeah. We begin get election, even though it's man, they be still there around. Still, they look at what they do, that they still sit on our parliament. Say by 1971 now. We get a republic. We can now say, okay, we now to we self now. Which man not get yeah. nothing game for do with me. <laughs> but even between 1960 to 1971, first first we still lay. So we said yes. to we said. Yes, I the know. People, I know. Me when they come to the king, so I see. That no, is a large, us, large, us, old, you small. Me when they talk to you, so I see independence. I see out me eye. Then load me a train from Songo. I come. I see him. So we know what in don't go on as alone from sixty one to now. Yes, sir. Continue, sir. So people then they we don't like we don't we don't observe. What are the experience the experience in the day? So we don't come on 1971. We go to 78. We get a, we try another system of government. Yeah, the one party. We're different state. from the all the other one. Then. We'll say, okay, we're not try one party. All the other party they come together. They form one government. They're all inside the government, too. But still, they'll be the first thing they say. But still, there'll be one government, too. We can't get another system of government. Where is the German they say come? Yeah. They say we well, this system of government for done now. We don't tire. They take over. 
Ode Panante Ukomode back. O come pan this system all day now. They say multi party, other party then pack out. So all the party there now, when we they inside our first and government, the all man for going away. Yeah. Fed for power now. All man get right for fed for power. So this fed for power now, they pan out today. We don't we don't carry you so we do So me believe say we don't try all them different different system there. They don't work. You make a suggestion just now. He say if it is time for me to get different party then for come together for form a coalition. The point, the question we go out for ask yourself is, are you making reference to the foster system of government where all the party then come together and no. form a single party? No, no. Or, Every party they operate independently or but then they collaborate. Or you they make a reference to a system of government where they bring expert knowledge Ideas, personnel from the different political parties, them where they operate independently for can form a government for the people and, and interest. Now the second one. Now, maybe In that one. case, me believe say this is not the time where the country for exp experiment a system where they bring the best reunion together. Yes. The new the model where they operate right now is focused on building individual parties rather than building the countries. So what do you mean by that? Now that when the SLPP win election in 2018, what did they do? They build their own capacity. Their young people them will not be exposed to power, will not ever hold public office, will not ever head institutions. They build their capacity by appointing them to big, big positions. Yeah. So final say, some of the mistakes the way they happen, they also I know we call them deliberate mistakes. They are mistakes of inexperience and lack of knowledge. Yeah. Because if you take somebody where come on university, when I ever work in a public service, you go make a public servant or head of a public institution. When I ever work, the recipe for disaster at national exactly. level. Exactly. Exactly. If you take somebody, when are you family? When are you party person? Just because you see and say, this person here, it hala hala, it make noise for we. A strong person, you get physique, you can make a director of a public institution. You believe, say, it able for discipline people there. Then it able for, for run that institution there. Then that is a, 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 a recipe for, for, for trouble. Yeah. So most of the trouble we'll get today, now as a result of the particular system of the run, where they develop political parties, it they rather give than they develop the public administration, it give people have opportunity and political parties opportunity for develop their own capacity as a political entity, rather than harnessing the resources for the country they provide by selecting qualified, competent. And willing Sierra for serve in a particular situation or yes. particular offices or particular yes. capacity. Yes. So the, the yes. model system where we think say we don't ever try before, where perhaps could be a very good model that for bring the resources where the country gets, human capital. We we'll get a lot of Sierra we we'll trade abroad and in country. We we'll get what it take for head institutions? What it take for lead people? Them? What it take for transform particular organization? Yeah. Bring all them people and they together. Even regardless of the fact that they need a different political party, for make them contribute to the administration of the country. That kind of model, I believe, say get capacity for unite the country. You get capacity for change this present constitution. You get capacity for bring the best of the country together and make sure so they get impactful and meaningful contribution to nation building and national transformation. Okay, thank you very much. Because what you make I talk about this coalition? Are they living a society to say coalition nine and the use in the governance system? 
And because they don't institute this system for a long time, they don't learn from their mistakes, then get lost them where then they pass now the country, where they ensure the last point we make, bringing the resources together, irrespective of the political opinion of the person. As a matter of fact, like Norway, then get what they call anti-discriminatory law. One of the areas they outline in the anti-discriminatory law is that if you get for employ somebody, you not get for ask him about in political opinion. If you ask the person question, why should they interview him? Or if you use the political opinion of the person for qualify or disqualify him, you don't go against the law. I asked that question about coalition and decentralization specifically because I didn't look at the experience where I don't get living in this country for close to two decades. I don't see how that they enhance efficiency. From the outside, people can always feel, say, ah, like then country in Europe, they don't develop so much, they're not getting problems, so we'll get. Yes, in Africa, we may have ethnicity. We may have regionalism. But human nature being what it is, you always get problems where they arise. This side where are they, now the western part. The whole thing they want is different from the other parts of Norway. <laughs> you understand? So there is always this friction. And... One of the best things I don't see about coalition is that because they bring several independent parties together, but with trying to bring together people where they see on similar grounds, it ensures say the state they count laws them where they improve on ethics and fair play. So as you rightly say, we get a lot of people them in all the political parties. We get what it take for govern Sierra Leone and make we progressive. But the kind of politics who they practice, this winners take all, you know, they help we. So we don't go close to one hour, 30 minutes. I wonder we end very soon. Now, before I go, Make clear you say your last word. I want to ask a simple question. Does the legal provision make room for research and development? Which legal provision? The legal profession. I mean, you are a lawyer. <coughs> Is there room for research and development in law? Yeah, obviously. Because that, that, that is the legal profession they are about. <laughs> legal how, profession much, about how much of it is used in Sierra Leone? Legal profession about research and capacity development. Okay. So I ask legal, that legal question willfully. <laughs> the legal profession is not, not a living profession. It's a day-to-day -day, um, thing. Even though now one of the oldest, if not the oldest profession in the world. So, in other, but because of maybe what you know, it's one of the world. oldest because I was told teaching is the oldest. <laughs> so, you start with that earlier. I tell you, say law, <laughs> the laws that they change every day, constitution they change every day. Yeah. So, because all of that they change every day, as lawyers, what you they do is uh, for research every day. You get for read every day. When they read and research every day, and they enhance you, and they develop you. And they make you competitive, and they make you also able for, I mean, do your work properly. Otherwise, you will not be able to do your work properly. So, the legal profession is basically is research and development. Now, as a lawyer, do you think we are doing much of that in Sierra Leone? Well, you know. <laughs> Capacity, capacity building, me, me, I believe, say, capacity building, it's both individual and institutional. 
I am asking but, about the institutional, not the individual. So, but yeah, but I, I, I take them broadly first and then I limit. Okay, them. okay. Everybody responsible for young development. Yeah. Everybody responsible. So, for making able for reach particular level in life, in a professional career, you have to develop yourself. Yeah. But institutions also get responsibility for develop their own staff. Yeah. So what do I mean by that? Now that let's take the example of um, the judiciary. Okay. You know, able for be a member of the judiciary if you not qualify for practice law. You know, able for serve as a magistrate, a judge. You know or a justice of the court of appeal or supreme court there is no way so if you don't qualify but even after we qualify and then appointed the judiciary also gets responsibility for provide capacity development and enhancement of members of the, of the bench so what is what is going to happen across the world now that those institutions they provide regular periodic trainings for yeah. members of the bench. You know, then they send them on programs of capacity development, sometimes in our universities, sometimes in our different countries, um, for go learn different in them as the country they, they develop, as the technology they develop, as the law they evolve. Say for example, now we get a new law we then call cyber Cyber, cyber law, cyber act, you know, like a new system. So you have to say you judge them. A country we don't get cyber law for a long time and you see how they interpret certain provisions and how they apply up. You know, and human rights, these are new, you know, thing them, you know, and trade. You talk about um um intellectual property yeah. and all of those things so you they develop people in public policy you know a lot of if we if we can if we can come down outside the judiciary if we come to public administration and as far as i know and my experience go every public administrator for no certain aspects of law, like administrative law, constitutional law. First term, we've been getting them called civil service training college, Nasaya Leon. It's been there in that building just by the junction of State House and Usai Paramount Hotel, been there. Opposite to Usai, the VP office day. But after some time, we see this institution go away. You know, Phil say, at this material point in time, say, a you need for resource then kind of institution day. Because, yes, people will say, okay, we have IPAM. People then they go IPAM, then go do public administration, et cetera, et cetera. But public management in principle and in practice and especially where you they look in for say, okay, we they specify this within the constitution. So we'll go meet the cultural, social, and other needs of the people. You know, feel say we need to get a public service training school wherein anybody, I don't care which kind of qualification you get, before you take up duty. You for go day and do certain causes. More so with we senior cadre in the public service and people sent out as diplomats. You know, if you say we need that kind of institution as alone. Because now that make I ask about this research and development. We need all for the, the seniors, land all from the mistakes. Them, all the seniors come to them, get institutions in the team. And help the staff, people in public, uh, uh, public service, or civil service, for for land. 
yeah. how for work with the public. Yeah. They do it all the time. Yeah. And as you rightly say, Shalom in get that institution and they it will be fair on me for comment on that because I don't know whether it exists right now or not. I don't think say they exist. I don't think say they exist. It died sometime in the eighties. The particular salary they make mention of now it now form part of the state house. So we may say okay. not accessible to members of the public because the security okay. and military presence that the area not even allow, you know, you not conducive for academic work. Okay. So, but I agree with you, institutions like that for the for help people and because not everybody's understanding a public service and public administration. Yeah. And of course, added to what you just say, public administration in practice, from country to country, get in cultural and sociological implications where the person need for no, why is they in service? So that means that we need them kind of institutions then, yeah. If we reach this, I think we don't exhaust what we set out for this course, although it looks more like an academic exercise, but I believe, see, a lot of people benefit from the discussion we don't get this evening. People, let don't begin know certain things. And I believe, say we get for come back, for can discuss other issues. Some of them been come up in the discussion today, but I try to avoid going into them, let we not derail what you would talk. So I want to make you give your last word to we listeners then. How you think, say, we go go na salon for make we minimize, if not stop, this culture of abuse of discretion by we public administrators and going against the constitution. We don't talk about decentralization. We don't talk about coalition. But within the present framework and the democratic conditions now the country, what do you think say we can do immediately for begin rectify some of them problems here? The, the problem we go, surround the particular um, issue where you talk about not, not deep rooted problem. It's cultural, but it's also it's a legal problem. Okay. And I don't think say Salonians them seriously appreciate the seriousness of them. Yeah. And what do I mean by that? Even though say, people that they talk about uh, the problems of the country and how. You know, people that they abuse certain powers when they get and then till they need. People not still understand, say, now as a result of those abuses, make could already choose out or issue. Yeah. And until we get a framework where the direct attitudinal and behavioral change, but also yeah. legal and administrative reform in our country. It go past the problem go persist. Yeah. So my own, my own suggestion are two two prong suggestion. One, we get for take a short and mid term approach to administrative and legal reform, so that people will know the bounds and limits of the power and authority before. And during the term when they exercise those powers. Okay. So by the time they recruit somebody, in terms of reference, we don't tell them what you, what you get power for do. Yeah. And even when you get discretionary power for do, if you get guidelines and limits for making people for exercise that power. Okay. During the term where they exercise the power, where you don't admit them to public service or civil service, if you also provide the requisite training for making no within the limit and within not in limits and then you forget oversight authority always yeah. oversight authority yeah. very very nice for make somebody get clearance for do certain thing so for example the inspector general of police not go just wait for make he gets called from state house 
and say, send people that are killing the Nepal and demonstrate. Bulldoze them. <laughs> Don't bulldoze anybody who is standing on the way of the generator shooter. <laughs> so you don't get that power there because it needed oversight from, for example, the, um, um, the standing committee on on um, on security for making them meet, for making them take that kind of decision for getting that kind of power. So we always need that kind of thing. Until we reach that level, then we not think say there is anything serious about the change that we need to talk about. So for me, we as Sierra Leone on my last one, we need for change, but we have to discuss this seriously as a nation and make sure say we call on we leader them for provide the platform for many people then discuss this and then get the reform where we need. We need a new constitution. We need a new platform, new political system of your own democracy. And then we also need leader the way focused. We get for be determined as a nation. We elect people the way see us. We serve it in our community. That is why once you get the people, all of them involved, you know, and, and they'll be serious about the country. That's how countries change. That's how countries yeah. develop. Yeah. They'll yeah. be serious yeah. about the country. Yeah. They you got to put the... national politics above party politics. Once they see us about the country, they begin to identify people them, not to say because you get money, but because you say you get good art and you know what you do, put on a particular position, and then that's how the country change. So I thank you all. Thank you for having me. Tell everybody thank you and hope to see them or to see all of you soon. Thank you very much, sir. So me fumble them. I think we don't go 90 minutes. Now, one old football match, we don't do so. So, we tell Una thank you for all and listen to we end. We go come back another time with lawyer IS for can discuss other issues we surround how we go improve on the governance system. And also, from time to time, I go to come with other people, them know they can discuss them things here. Because I believe, say, one of the ways we'll get for change with country is we get for understand what we need for understanding, change with beliefs and with perceptions. We don't get any business profit we self in us alone. We all not the same family. Them. We all not the same bloodline. But because we get systems them where we know they try for check and control. Because we know one put ethics and care into what you would do, this is not the reason we make a lot of things they go wrong. If you then a public office for do something, members say you did it on behalf of the people, the whole people of Sierra Leone. Do what you know say go be fair for everybody. Because you, end, you get for understand say one day you get for left the office. After you left the office, how do you expect the people to honor you? What is your legacy that you would have left? If you reach there, I tell everybody thank you for listening to all we. And I show Nase will come back next weekend. Thank you very much, sir.